the first thing we're going to do today is use oil pastels to fill in all the white spaces that we didn't get painted last time. You might have a lot of white spaces to color. That's okay. When you've filled up all the white space in the background, we are going to add some highlights and shadows to our heart. I'm going to start with a little white piece of chalk. And if you've ever used chalk, you know that it feels a little bit dusty on your fingers. So be careful because your fingers might get a little dirty today. That's why we always have our trusty towel to wipe them off whenever we need to. Now, I'm going to put my white highlight on the right hand side of each bump of my heart. So I'm gonna start over here on this bump and I'm gonna put a little line right here. So I'm laying the chalk on its side and I'm rubbing a little white area so that it looks like a shiny spot on my heart. Now I'm gonna go over to this side, lay my chalk on its side again and rub a little bit more on this bump. Now if you want you can take your blendy finger and blend the chalk a little bit or if you like it a little bit brighter and unblended you can leave it just like that. Next I'm going to wipe my fingers off and I'm going to get a little black piece of charcoal. Now same thing I'm gonna lay the charcoal on its side and I'm gonna this time outline the entire shape of my heart. So I'm gonna hold it down with one hand and very carefully trace around my heart shape so that it has kind of a nice thick black outline around the outside. Now, just like my white chalk, the black charcoal is pretty messy. So clean your hands whenever you need to and try real hard not to get any black smudges on the inside of your heart. If you do, of course, that's okay, but we're just doing the best we can to keep the black on the outside of the heart only. So I'm just gonna keep on going until I've outlined the whole shape. Now, the part that really makes this look like a shadow is I'm gonna take one blendy finger, not a whole blendy hand, just one finger, and I'm gonna rub the charcoal so that it starts to get a little bit more blended. And that makes it look like a shadow. Now, if you don't like the way this feels on your finger, if it's a little too messy for you, you could also use a towel, kind of fold it up and do your blending with that. And that'll make the towel pretty dirty, but it will keep your finger a lot more clean. So just be very careful that you're not getting your towel inside your heart shape because then we'll have black inside your heart that you won't be able to get off. Now I'm gonna go back one more time with the point of my charcoal and make that outline really nice and dark where it's next to my heart. And this will make my heart shape really pop out. It almost looks like it's jumping right off the page. When you are happy with the blending of your shadow and the darkness of your shadow, if you feel like it is dark enough, we're gonna clean our hands and our project is complete.